Hello there, it's Maggie, the Cheshire Crafter here. I'm just sharing some of my artwork with you and I've just discovered a mistake I might be making and I just want to share it with you because I think it might make the difference in the quality of my artwork and my own. Because of the size, I buy A3 sheets and I cut them down with my guillotine. And convenience, I cut them down to about an A4 size because they'll fit on my boards. And I have this De La Rowney 150 GSM smooth cartridge paper at A3 size. And I've cut it down. And as you look at it, it's great for... It's, it does feel very smooth. And it's great for... Um, multimedia work everything's slipping down it's great for multimedia work but it wasn't it might not be what i should be using and i had bought this which is highly recommended windsor and newton bristol uh board or paper and this is 250 gsm that's 114 pound and this is extra smooth paper and because it's A3 size, for convenience, I again, I cut this down to A4 size. The difference is when you look at them, uh, this is very white. This is bright white. And the De La Rowney is a slightly off-white. And I think that because I've been starting my artwork in artificial light... I can't tell the difference between the bright white and the artificial white and it might be the difference in graininess I'm going to do a test to see whether I get graininess with the Bristol paper uh, that I've been trying to correct with the portraits that I've done of Boy George and um, David Bowie and I've spoken to you about I'll come back and let you know what happens when I've done some testing and then uh, I'll compare and contrast the two papers I'll compare and contrast the graininess and then I'll look at the difference with Zestit and see if I can correct my error. And if I can correct my error, then you can too. And it might be as simple as that. It might be the light that you're using. and the, Well, certainly the light that I was using. It's very hard to tell the difference between the two. And I think in the future, I would put a small... Um, w n b at the top corner of my paper or on the back or or d r s c at the top corner on the back of my paper in the future i'm going to be, do a bit of testing and i'll come back and let you know what i find out well that was an experiment really well worth doing i spent an evening experimenting here and i'm going to show you my results uh, look at here i'm now in daylight and look at the difference between the two papers when i look at them side by side it's obvious one is the windsor newton bristol smooth and the other is dale Rowney smooth cartridge my error is i've started things in not daylight in unnatural light i've been doing them either in my lounge or i've taken them cut paper away with me for convenience and started them in a hotel bedroom and used the light source from there and that's really not good enough so that's my first error uh my my uh, experiment on checking what will happen with which i've done two swatches and i've done one on uh, the white Windsor and Newton Bristol and one on De La Rowney smooth cartridge and again you can see the difference in the daylight it's very evident how I made a very rookie error there I think uh, and it's one I'm not going to repeat uh, I'm currently in the middle of the George Michael drawing and I've realized I've picked the De La Rowney smooth cartridge um, I might be wasting my time doing that but I'm going to see if I can fix it Right, so what I did with both of the papers then is I looked at Prismacolor versus Polychromos and I went down, I simply blended three colours and I chose um, I chose these Prismacolors, uh, Magenta, sorry, Prismacolor Magenta, that's uh, PC930, 
uh, Prismacolor Copenhagen Blue, that's PC906, and Prismacolor Violet, uh, PC932. And I also use the Prismacolor White uh, PC938 for uh, blending. So going down the Prismacolor then, I blended the three pencils together. I then burnished. I then applied Zestit. And I burnished with two techniques. One is using the Prismacolor white pencil on one half. And the second half was using this uh, Caran Dash. Let me see if I can get that. It's a bit pale, isn't it, on camera? This is a pencil blender. Let's see if we can get that in focus. Yes, Caran d'Ache pencil blender. It's it's colourless, colourless, odourless pencil blender. And I used either side of them. I used one side on the left with Prismacolor White and the other side with the Caran d'Ache to see if I could get a difference. And actually, there was quite a considerable difference with those. And I've really put, with Prismacolor, what worked well, um, it went on very smooth, blended beautifully. There is some graininess and patchiness, though, just with the, the pencils. And you can see I've got patches. Now, that might be down to my blending skills more than the pencils themselves. I'm still learning. But look at the intensity you can get with burnishing. Having said that, that took three or four layers to get that effect. And it, it's got quite a waxy bloom on it. And I don't think I would be able to get anything more on top of that now with uh, zest it it did leave marks below it has blended it there's still some graininess isn't there um there were marks went through the paper so be careful what's underneath when you're applying zest it and the marks did come on the outside now i have seen some youtubers suggesting that you apply baby oil uh, what a mess you're going to make with that um don't waste your time and your efforts you will ruin your drawing in my opinion, and it will leave a greasy mark around the edge. Once the zest it dried fully, uh, I can say that it hasn't left a mark on the paper. There was a slight aroma from it, which has eased off. And uh, I think that the colour intensifies. Look at the difference between applying zest it and just the pencil blending here. So I was happy with that. When I started burnishing, I think that the Prismacolor uh, white pencil worked well. With the Caran d'Ache, it's, it's kept, it stayed a little bit grainy, hasn't it? So I don't think I'd opt for doing that. I'm going to stick then with Prismacolor and what happened when I did it on, on uh, the words here. De La Rowney smooth cartridge. Uh, Cross-hatching and blending, very, very grainy. The more I layered, the worse it got. At one point, I think I got a watermark uh, image coming through. I couldn't get rid of the graininess no matter how hard I burnished. Look at the look at the difference between the the two, the Winsor Newton and the Daily Rowney. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend that. The zest it made it even worse. Look how bad that is. And this is, if I'd gone back to use Zest It on the Boy George image I'd done, I'd have made it worse than it already is now and far better to leave it alone. And as far as as far as far the pencil blend, uh, I would say the Prismacolor white pencil was less awful than the Caran d'Ache. The Caran d'Ache was absolutely dreadful. So I think if I'm using Prismacolor coloured pencils, the answer for me is use... Winsor and, Newton, Winsor and Newton Bristol board. Let's take a look then at polychromos and what happened when I tried with them. The polychromos on, on Winsor and Newton Bristol board then blended beautifully. It went on very smooth and it reduced the amount of graininess I've got. I got very good coverage and good, good um, blending when I burnished. There was much less graininess but oh my goodness me, it was hard work. I really had to press very hard to get this effect. More than I would have expected I had to get. Certainly more than Prismacolor. And when I tried with Prismacolor, that went down quite easy. And I did three and four layers. And the other thing is, although I'm using the same coloured pencils, the, the Prismacolor looks more vibrant. This looks quite dull, doesn't it? 
so that would be a consideration for me uh, when I applied zest it I got the best result yet but I don't think it's very vibrant now if I wanted this effect with David Bowie's suit would I be happy with that I'm really not sure unless it would be the color choice of pencils that I chose but for the for the uh, burnishing that I did, I was very pleased with both methods of burnishing. I found the Prismacolor white over the top of Polychroma's pencils was the best effect I could get. The Caran d'Ache less so. So this would be the the thing I would choose if I'm using Polychromos on on Winter and Newton Bristol board. I would use a Prismacolor white pencil to burnish. And I think that's what uh, Kirsty Partridge recommends. I think that's one of the things she uses. So let's take a look at the effects then on De La Rowney, uh smooth cartridge. Oh, dreadful, dreadful, very grainy. This is the effect I've got doing, um, doing uh, David Bowie. That's why I've ended up with that graininess. Can I correct it? With the burnishing, this is what's happened with his suit. I can't get rid of the graininess, no. If I applied zest it, the graininess has gone. The vibrancy has gone up. And I think I could go back to David Bowie and improve upon what I've done. But I certainly wouldn't go back and try and burnish anything with either a Prismacolor White or a Caran d'Ache pencil. It took me an evening and I think it was a, a, a lesson learnt here in choosing the right paper in the first place. Will I now go back and apply zest it to my uh, Boy George drawing? The answer is no. I'm not happy with it as it is now, but I'm obviously going to make it worse applying zest it. My research has just shown me that. So I'm going to leave him alone. I bet George, I bet boy George is a little bit relieved. And for my drawing of um, David Bowie, I could go back and I could amend this by applying zest it very carefully and for perhaps applying liquid chrome to get a, the sheen that I wanted on the microphone. But actually, I think I'm going to leave them both alone because I've learned a great deal. These were my first attempts with Prismacolor and Polychromos. And I think I've learned more and I can refer back to these in what not to do in the future and uh, apply what I've learned to my future drawings. I have to say I've done George Michael on what I think now is the wrong paper. I'm going to continue it with some zest it and I'll see what effects I get with that. Uh, so for now, I hope I've helped you with Don't Repeat My Mistakes. Uh, this is Maggie, the Cheshire Crafter, saying bye for now. The Polychromos pencils I used were Magenta 1... Oh, I've got it down here, sorry. Uh, Magenta 133, Cobalt Blue... 144 and blue violet 137. The zest it is the pencil blend, and in order to blend them, I use Johnson cotton baby buds.